If you want to hear my review of the Nip and Fab and Bosha products and hear the introduction for the next brand I'm trying out, then stick around. Hi there, it's Elaine and welcome back, or if it's your first time, welcome to HMM Makeup or Hmm Makeup. I took a little break from my day-to-day -day activities to film this video for you. Uh, it is part of the series called Brand New Focus, where I focus on a given brand, usually with a kind of a skew towards skincare. And uh, I try one brand at a time, give you my review and introduce the next one. Well, what I'm reviewing today are products from Nip and Fab and Bosha and uh, we'll be introducing the brand that I'll be focusing on over the next little bit. So let's start off with the review of the Nip and Fab line. For Nip and Fab, I had a few different products and these are the, uh, the primary products that I was trying. There is this Nip and Fab Skin, which is the Viper Venom Extreme Night Fix. So I had a night cream. Uh, pretty uh, decent product actually. I liked how thick it was. At first I thought it was a dehydrated cream, but no, it just, it worked great. And really, I really enjoyed it quite a bit at night. And another product that I really, really enjoyed and I just finished, it was, it was actually the product that was <laughs> causing me to have to wait before I film this video because I want to finish products before I give you my impression. So the, the night cream was super hydrating, thick, great for someone in their uh, 30s or 40s. I'm in my mid 40s and it felt so good on the skin that I was really sad when, um, where is it? This, um, this cream, uh, was, was done. I was really sad about it and I really wished I had a second jar. That's how much I liked it. And same thing for this, um, serum. This is the Nip and Fab Skin Dragon's Blood Fix Plumping Serum. And it was really hydrating. It was really comfortable. I enjoyed uh, using it a couple times a day, actually. I used it in the morning and in the evening. And um, wh what can I say? It just, it felt really soothing on the skin and therefore I felt like it was doing what it needed to do. And I was kind of scrambling afterwards looking in my uh, different skincare um, items that I have and backups and kind of going, okay, what am I going to use? to replace this. I really quite enjoyed it. So these two were absolute winners. The other two from the brand, I don't have the same opinion about. The next two products are actually um, for the eyes. This one is the Nip and Fab uh, Viper Venom Eye Fix. And unfortunately, it's kind of rubbing off here. So obviously, you know, I use this. And it's it's a um, like a roller ball. I think this is the one, yeah. Like a roller ball. And you're supposed to put it on the under eye. Well, I don't know if it's, the, it's like fumes coming out of this thing, but it irritated my eyes. And I tried to use it a handful of times. And every time I was having the same reaction. So I barely used this product. And I would not recommend. It It did not play nice with, uh, with my eyes. And I couldn't keep it on long enough to know if it was going to make a, a good... Um, kind of a an effect on my under eye because whatever was floating up into my eye was was causing it to water it was terrible so I would definitely not recommend this again the nip and fab smooth uh, viper venom eye fix would not recommend and the final product from uh, nip and fab was this viper venom frown fix and I'm supposed to use this pen to address frown lines. And I was really kind of excited because I've got that little 11 set of lines here because I frown a lot. It's just something my face does. <laughs> I'm a frowner, what can I say? And uh, and it, it just, it didn't, it just didn't seem like it did anything. I would rather use 
an eye cream and use the eye cream on here and on the delicate skin around my eyes as opposed to use this thing. It just, it just wasn't, it, yeah, it says frown fix, but I, I really didn't see it do anything great. Whereas the Lancome or the Estee Lauder uh, eye cream does feel uh, like it hydrates really well around the eyes. And I even use it around the mouth and, and, and for the frown lines. So to me, this was an expensive dud that didn't do as well as other creams that I have available in my uh, usual skincare regimen. So I, I, I do tend to kind of compare these other products that I try with my tried and true go-to products because why would I switch if products that I try are not as good? So that's it for the Nip and Fab, and now let's talk about the uh, other two products that I have had from Bosha. Uh, and this one actually turned, it went bad on me. And you can see in the jar, just it's, it was an older product. They don't make this one anymore, I don't think. Um, and it, unfortunately, it, it was not usable. Um, I was able to use it for a little bit. You'll see that I have some usage, but when it uh, it really went bad in the in the container, I just I just couldn't uh, use this as a makeup remover for the eyes. I just didn't think it was safe. Um, did I think it worked? Yes. Uh, did I think it worked as well as other ma makeup melters? No. I would say uh, Clinic Take the Day Off or uh, the Pharmacy. Green Clean, those are the two that I would recommend hands down as uh, makeup removers and this one just does not uh, make the cut at all. Um, now it could be because it was an older product that it didn't work as well, but I, I just didn't care for it um, at all compared to other products that I had tried that in my estimation are a lot better. And, and frankly, for makeup removers, cleansing oils are extremely kind to your skin when you're taking makeup off and when you are worried about tugging at your skin i'm a big big fan of oil-based cleansers so just as an aside um having mentioned clinic take the day off and pharmacy green clean the reason i mention those is because they're in the same category as this product but there are definitely other makeup removers that i'm quite fond of as i've just mentioned and speaking of cleansers, in here I have the other Bosha product, and I have it in an Estee Lauder container, and it's the cleansing ball. And I have to admit, and it's in here and it's still fine, and I can use it, um, but you'll see that, you, you'll notice that it's still a relatively big size. The reason being is that I find it not convenient to use. So usually when I have a cleanser, I just dip my fingers in and or do a few pumps and then use it on my face and whatnot. In this case, I have to take this ball out, wet it and, and get some product off. And then I need a container to put it back in. And the container comes in is really flimsy. It's just really tiny plastic, flimsy plastic, I should say. It's totally useless. I don't think they sell this little ball cleanser anymore, and it's probably because it, it's, it's kind of not great. Um, did I find it worked? Sure. Was it a great cleanser? Nope. Other things are more convenient, uh, cheaper, more usable. And, uh, and so, no, I would not recommend either one of the, uh, the Bosha products that I tried. Um, my understanding is they're both discontinued, but I didn't see why I wouldn't try them. Although the, the cleanser, obviously, when I realized it was going off that I I stopped using it, but um, yeah, no, nothing great to report for you, but I am though really excited for the next brand that I'm going to be showcasing. And boy, am I going to be showcasing it because I've got a lot, a lot from this brand and I'm super excited about it. So without further ado, let's take a look at what I am introducing for the next number of weeks for this brand new focus and it is elf products i have skincare and i have makeup from elf and i'm really excited to try it 
I'm not going to focus so much on eyeshadow. I have done some eyeshadow looks with an e.l.f. palette here on this channel. You can take a look at those videos. Uh, but I am more interested in um, a number of skincare items and makeup products that are non-palette related. I have, uh, in this case, let's go with the skincare stuff first, a daily uh, face cleanser. So I will be using that, and there's quite a bit in it, 150 mils, so it's going to last me quite a bit. It seems to have uh, separated a little bit, but I think I can just shake it, let me just see. Oh yeah, it, uh, it recombines pretty easily, so that's all right. So anyway, a face cleanser, really excited to use that. And along with the face cleanser, something that obviously goes well with it, it is the Keep Your Balance Hydrating Toner. So cleanser and toner, perfect uh, match there. And I have another uh, melt gel melt cleanser, the hydrating gel melt cleanser, again from e.l.f., obviously. And I'm kind of curious to know what it's going to be like. And that's what it looks like inside. Kind of a neat look to it. Looks like a very simple kind of product. And also a hydrating face Primer. Now we're getting kind of into the makeup side of things uh, and it looks uh, rather interesting. Now it's, it's kind of funny that it doesn't have an amount um, in here, whereas the Daily Face Cleanser has an amount, it's 150 ml, and does the uh, cleanser, yeah, 40 grams, so I'm not quite sure why this one, maybe the sticker came off, I'm not sure, but uh, I will definitely try this hydrating face primer. And continuing on with some uh, face product stuff, although the um, the primer isn't really skincare related, but you could say it's kind of a on the fence. Uh, I also have this nourishing facial oil. I'm a big fan of facial oils, so I'm looking forward to using that one. And I also have a makeup mist and set, uh, so that will be my uh, uh, setting spray for the duration of this. Uh, brand new focus. And now we're getting into makeup products from e.l.f. and I do have a foundation serum with goji berry and it is an SPF 25. So I'm looking forward to using this one. Hopefully you can see. And I, I hope that I have a decent um, match for me. It's fair light. I think, I think it's going to be okay. Looks good. We'll see. So I have that. Um, I talked about the primer, I'm just mentioning that as well. And there's there are a number of powders and creams here. I have a blotting powder that looks like this. And it looks like it has, oh yeah, and it has a, an applicator underneath. This one I'm really excited to use. I have a putty primer, poreless putty primer. And I want to uh, compare this one to the Tatcha, so I'm really curious to compare the two. I have a banana powder and a banana deep powder, so this is just a different version of the banana powder. And a sheer powder, I'm not sure which way is going to be easier to see. So it's just a miniature sheer powder. Has more like a, a peachy, really light peachy beige uh, color to it. And I have some uh, beads from the brand as well. And I wanted to try these um, because one set of beads is like a bronzing powder set of beads. And this is, this is a double serving. So <laughs> I combined two of these in one as I'm losing some bronzing powder. So that is one of the sets of kind of spherical products that I have from e.l.f. I don't even know if they sell these anymore, but I'll try it anyway. And I have, it's not out, but I have the equivalent in that kind of a rainbow color, sort of like the meteorite, meteorite little balls from uh, Guerlain. Um, so I will try these and I will also try the, the multicolor ones, but I also have the pressed version from e.l.f. as well, so I'll show you that one. So I do have this one 
and I have the beads as well, but the beads are behind the camera right now, so I won't go and get them, but I think you've seen the bead equivalent of this, at least in the uh, Meteorite from uh, Guerlain, and if you haven't, they look exactly like the beads that I showed you in the Elf container. Actually, I'll show you the Guerlain because I can't get to the Elf one, but they're very similar. So these are always behind me, right there with my perfume. They go right in the middle of the perfume uh, display that I have the mini perfume display and this is what they look like so i have the elf version of this and they're they're identical they look the same so uh, the only thing that is different is these are perfumey and the elf ones are not but as far as the look of them they look very similar and two more products from uh, elf and i think i have a few oh yeah i have three brushes i won't show you the brushes but i will be using them um i have three brushes from elf that i picked up as well they're only just they're just a few bucks each and so i didn't see why i wouldn't try uh, a few of their brushes as well and i have uh, i happen to have two of the three brushes uh, at the ready so this is what they look like i think they look amazing and they were very very inexpensive compared to other makeup brushes that I've uh, tried. So I'm looking forward to, to trying these uh, and, and then some. I think it's going to be great to use them. And I do really like the shape of them. I could not believe what the brushes were like for the price I paid. I just It just felt like I was getting away with some something. They're very soft and they look great. I just wonder if they perform as nicely as they look. We'll see. And the third one is more of a an eye makeup brush and I just for some reason it's small and I, I just can't find it right now. And the final product is not new to me. It is in my collection. It's the first e.l.f. product that I really used and uh, and I'm just going to use it as makes sense uh, during this brand new focus because why not? It is an e.l.f. product that I have and it's, it's quite a nice little duo, a bronzer and a blush kind of compact. And, uh, and I do already know I like it. It will not be an issue to use it. And I have one more product. I almost forgot to show you this one. It is a set of highlighters. So there's a bluish leaning highlighter and a purple leaning highlighter. And I will be using those two as well, either for eye looks or as highlighter on um, the high point of my cheek. So that is it. Um, quite a few products from e.l.f. I have two, four, five. I'm going to say six if we can include the primer. I have six face products and I forgot to show you a couple more. They were hiding behind the skincare products. I also have a couple of um, glittery eye toppers that I will also use. So um, I will mention these as well. One of them is these, is, do they have names? Uh, Pink Opal and Seafoam are the two that I picked up. So I have, as I said, um, three, five, seven skincare products, assuming the um, face primer is as considered skincare product. Um, three brushes total, two of which I showed you. Uh, a number of face powders in bead and loose form, a blotting powder as well, the putty primer, which I'm really curious about and want to compare to Tatcha, and the bronzer and blush, and the meteorite type powders, uh, and the spheres in meteorite and uh, bronzer. And I think that's it. There's a lot that I'm going to be trying. As I mentioned, I'm not going to focus on eyeshadows from e.l.f. because um, I have already done some looks with an e.l.f. palette on this channel. And uh, the only other thing that I can think of is nail polishes. And I have a total of 10 little nail polish bottles from e.l.f. And you're probably going to see these nail polishes at next month, not during the month of March, because uh, I'm already into, well into the nail polish looks for the month of March. So I think I'll be using um, nothing but e.l.f. nail polishes, assuming they work, during the month of April. So watch out for that. Uh, 10 different polishes, some toppers, some primary um, kind of base colors, and uh, not primary colors, but, but base colors and glittery toppers. 
uh, that I'll probably be using in the month of April. Now, if you are familiar with Brand New Focus on this channel, I take my time. I will be using these products over and over and over again, so I give you a, a true, good, detailed review of the products as much as I can. Uh, the Bosha and Nip and Fab was kind of a, a bit of a brand new focus fail. Um, I don't think I had a ton of products and I was not super impressed by these products except for two of them from Nip and Fab. So it, it felt kind of like a lackluster review and intro <laughs> in this video. I hope you'll um, You'll forgive that. They can't all be stellar. And uh, yeah, if you have any tips or tricks for the e.l.f. product line, I am all ears. I always appreciate your uh, suggestions in the comments. And with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it every single time. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. And I look forward to reporting back. But for now, take care.